morning, everybody. So we thought that we'd do a little cheeky impromptu live this morning because something very exciting is happening. So you may see behind me that our beautiful 2008 Mercedes SL63 is live on our competitions website. But we thought we'd do a live because it is very nearly sold out. So when I last looked, I think there was about 233 tickets left. Now, the Mercedes was scheduled to be drawn on the 24th, I believe. That's right. But if it sells out, we may, well, no, I'm not promising anything, but we may draw it this Thursday. It's looking very likely, isn't it? Molly? It is looking so likely. With only 233 tickets left, I mean, yesterday was there. 900 on yesterday, 900. so they're going really so quickly. So they're going now. super duper fast. Hello to everyone watching along. Fraser's watching, Nick's watching. Hiya. Good morning, everyone. If you've got any questions for either myself or Molly uh, about the competitions or anything we do here at Bridge, then uh, drop us a comment down below. And we're going to be live for the next 15, 20 minutes or so. So we're going to have a good look around all the cars in this building. But if you've got any co uh, comments or questions, let us know. Right on cue, Sarah Hitchcock <laughs> says, hi, Molly. <laughs> Brian says, hi, Molly, too. Hiya. Hi, guys. Um, have you got tickets for the Mercedes? Fraser McLeod says hi all. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> so, now, it is kind of a little bit in your hands whether we do draw the car on Thursday or not, because if we sell out, I reckon it might be a goer. It, 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 it looks very likely that we'll be drawing it on Thursday, based on how quickly tickets are sold over the last few days. Um, yeah, there's only 200 odd tickets left. So if you were waiting to the last minute to uh, get your tickets in, it looks like it's going to sell out every scene. Uh, Tabitha Debenham says hi, Molly. Hello, hi guys. Um, yeah, should we go and have a look? Yes, look let's at the have car? a little closer look. So our lovely Mercedes is just absolutely stunning. It is so sleek and such a gorgeous sports car. Now, it is quite special as well because it is a 6.3 litre V8 with 518 brake horsepower. We had a lot of comments online about the literage of the engine. It's advertised as a 6.3 litre. It's slightly under a 6.3 litre, but the reason why we've called it a 6.3 litre is because Mercedes themselves call it a 6.3 litre. So it's somewhere between a 6.2 and a 6.3 litre. But I would argue that still plenty of literage <laughs> out of that engine. <laughs> of literage a lot of literage so this car really does go and it also has its seven speed automatic gearbox now it is so smooth and it changes through the gears really really nicely now you may think this is like a really really sp fast sporty car but i think you'd be absolutely fine using it for everyday driving as well you could use it for both and it is so so rapid on the note of the gearbox as well the different modes that you can put it in changes how the gearbox reacts quite drastically so when you put it in full sport mode the gears change really really rapidly but in normal comfort mode the suspension softens up a little bit the gear changes are a little bit slower and yeah as you say it's a car that you could use yeah, every day and it's so comfortable because it's even got lovely heated seats so even if it's cold outside, but you still wanted to feel the wind in your hair you'll be nice and warm it's got the air scarf hasn't it on yes. the back of your neck so and this as well blows lovely hot air right to the back of your neck so you feel like you're wearing a nice warm scarf. There's a question that's just come in. Let me scroll up and see it. Brian Woodhouse has asked, is the Rover P6 coming up for sale? Oh, it's not going to be for sale, but it might be a competition car. We've finally convinced Gordon. For those of you that aren't aware, this is our director Gordon's personal car. And a lot of you have seen it in the background of our live streams and said, will it be a competition car? And we've, behind the scenes, been begging him, let us put it up as yeah. a competition car. And he's finally caved in. So yes, so it will. When we went to the um, NEC uh, last week and we went and spoke to the um, Rover P60 Club, this is quite a renowned car amongst them. When we showed them a picture of it, they all knew exactly what it was. Known they as all, the Beast, wasn't it? Yeah, they said it was like known as the Beast and they were all like, oh, please do let us know when the competition is coming up because I think they really wanted to win it. <laughs> so it's, it's very, very rare. For those of you that know your P6s, there wasn't a 4500S. This has had a four and a half litre engine retrofitted to it. And uh, yeah, a show winning car. It's an absolute beauty. We can't wait to bring it to you. Right on cue, there's been another comment come in. Sorry, I can't see who left it. Uh, asking about the Mark II behind us, uh, oh, the Mark yeah. II Cortina. So uh, although it's, today was supposed to be about the Mercedes, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll have a look at everything else as well. But this well, is that absolute beauty. We've got another beauty. Cortina. Because our last Cortina was so, so popular, 
We have got another one for you that might possibly be a competition card too. This is a little bit off the cuff, but there's a load of stuff oh. that came with the car, Molly, that I'd like to have a look at. Okay. I was just looking through it this morning and there's loads of show wins here. So if you could just remove oh, the book yeah. from the top, you can see yeah. all the plaques here. Oh, wow. This is from the Cortina for every single show that it's won. And there's a second plaque just like that underneath as well. Oh, that's amazing. So we, what have we got here? Um, second in the Bungie um, Vintage Vehicle Rally. Wow, Hales Worth, Lions, Wings and Wheels. And underneath, I think that's the first tray and Ooh, then there's some more goodness. modern ones. Uh, so these oh, are the wow. next ones. Oh yeah, look. 2019, the Bungie Lions Classic Car Rally. Heveningham Hall, 2019. Wow. But yeah, this car is really special. We hadn't planned on having a look at that just yet and we're still going through all the details with that car, but everything in this room, bar the Jaguar E-Type, the uh, MGP8 and the Morris Minor are all competition cars, so we're surrounded by, surrounded by beautiful cars in here. A plethora of, of beauty cars. <laughs> beautiful cars. But yes, back to our Mercedes. So, if this car does sell out, it is looking very likely that it will be drawn this Thursday. A few comments in, still coming about the Cortina. Oh. Um, <laughs> Uh, Mick Nurse says that Mark II has some show winning history. It does indeed. It does. It's, I, I hope we can get across on camera just how lovely and this it car is. It is absolutely beautiful. It really, really, truly is. And it's stunning inside as well. Philip Cresswell's got his tickets for the V8 Mercedes. Oh. Good luck, Philip. Good luck. Should we have a look Philip. on the uh, interior of this yes, car? Yes, let's have a look at the interior. It is lovely. It's just very what you'd expect sleek, from a Mercedes of the Sierra. Very slick lovely lines and also it does have a full hard top as well yep. so you can have it as um, a convertible or you can have it hard top on daily driver there's some photos of the hard top on on the website uh, in case you want to see it on we've left it off because it looks cooler without we think. <laughs> don't you agree I, yeah, think I, it looks it. Without. I think it's very very cool indeed very cool indeed oh and it's also got its 19 inch wheels which are stunning the amg wheels they're huge, aren't they? They Fraser are McLeod ginormous. Says. And this is also a rear wheel drive. So it really does have some welly. On the day in which we were filming this car, it was a little bit damp the night before. So I didn't want to, uh, didn't want to test our luck too much yeah. driving it over there, but it's got so much power. You, you really do yeah, need I to be careful. Said, Freddie, didn't you? It's like the fastest car you've driven. It's definitely the fastest car yeah. I've ever driven. Yeah, it's so rapid. It's amazing. So tickets for this are just nine pounds. They are indeed. Nine pounds, everybody. So for nine pounds, you could win a 500 brake horsepower car. Woo! I think it's that the highest brake horsepower car we've ever done. What's the Viper? Something like that. Is it less? I don't know. We'll, we'll fact check that. Craig Certainly up there. there. I might just ask Craig. Craig, is this the highest brake horsepower car we've ever done? What's the Viper? 300? Yeah. I think you're... Okay. We're going to go out on a limb here and say that this is the most powerful car we've ever given away. I think that's... If it's not, it's certainly up there, isn't yeah. it? <gasps> there we go. Fraser says he'll be happy sitting in that Merc. Uh, Ian's come along. Hello, Ian. How are you doing? Uh, Mercedes looks amazing. Oh, and very fast. It is, yeah, as we've just been discussing, very, very rapid. If you guys do have any questions, we're going to be live for the next 10, 15 minutes or so. Just having a wander around, really, yeah. aren't we? We've, uh, we've been doing some filming this morning. Um, yeah, filming around the workshop this morning, which was really cool, seeing all the different aspects of the workshop. Went very to the noisy, paint shop, it? Very noisy. The paint shop and all over the place. So we've also got some competition cars this side. We've got the Maserati. Now, I like this one. It, it, it's um, growing on me more and more, I think. Another car that's surprisingly fast. Yeah. This being the Biturbo, certainly for a car of this era, it's really got some pace to it, but not only has it got some pace, it handles really nicely too, the Maserati. So I think this will be a It's a lovely one, this one. And there's something that's a little bit different that's next to it. Yeah, the Chrysler the Crysler Crossfire. Crossfire. Now, I don't know if you guys may have noticed, but if you have a little look at the number plate, oh, it slightly resembles Doctor Who. And why would that be, Molly? <laughs> <laughs> that is because um, a person who made props for Doctor Who actually owned this car and they decided to put a nice Doctor Who 
number plate on it, which is really cool. All be revealed with this car very soon. It's super low mileage, super, super clean. <laughs> Um, and yeah, not going to be very many tickets on this one at all. So something a little bit different for us, but we're excited to bring that to you very, very soon. Yes. Alan Cortez is on. He says he wants the P6. <gasps> Alan, you're not Alan. the only one. Everyone loves this P6. <laughs> it's going to be live very soon. It will be coming soon. We haven't actually shot this car yet. So there's a little bit of time to wait, but why don't you have a little gander at the other things we've got while you're waiting? Yeah, well, the Aston, the Aston's coming up very soon. The DB9, another car that a lot of people have asked for. Oh, and... this one is so luxurious. Did so you like this luxurious. one, Molly? I really like this one a lot. It is, it's delicious, really. Uh, the three Cordettes are on, and they said, have you got one that can fit the three of us in and all our equipment? What, which one would you pick? The Cortina would work. The Cortina the would, would work. work, I think. I mean, I might have to look at the boot size to see if you could fit the whole PA in it. But certainly, I don't, the Mark II looks a little bit larger to my eye. It does, actually. And certainly oh, a bit yeah. more spacious in the back. You know what? This could work. Roy's Maybe. saying he wants the Cortina. It's his first car. Well, Roy, if there's any Cortinas you'd like, it should oh, be this, this one. Molly, one. could you open up the door for me? I just I want to show, uh, to show our viewers inside. I was, I was thinking it might be locked then. <laughs> It is in such good nick. Look at that. I mean, well, you can see, and if you're just joining us, earlier on we had a look at the uh, show history of this car. You can see why it's won so many awards. The whole car is absolutely lovely. I opened up the engine bay the other day. You could eat your dinner off of it. It's absolutely lovely. <laughs> It's so, so clean and tidy. But what yeah. a way to describe the car. You could eat <laughs> I mean, your dinner you, off you it. You wouldn't. You wouldn't eat your dinner off it, but you could if, uh, if you so desired. And we absolutely love MGs here at Bridge Classic Cars, so we do have another MG that's going to be coming up soon. We do, and it's the V8 as well. It's the V8. This stunning one. <clears throat> now, we've not shot this one yet, have we, either? No, the, uh, the next few that are going to come up uh, will be the Chrysler Crossfire, the Maserati Biturbo, and over here, the Aston Martin DB9. So that's what's next on the horizon, but the, uh, the Rover, the Cortina, the Volvo, and the MGB will all be following it very soon. Yeah. And there's another car that'll be following it soon as there well, isn't is. there, Molly? It's hiding from you, Freddie. Here it is, this beautiful Ferrari. This is going to be a good one, isn't it? This is going to be a really good one. I'm excited to drive this one. Should we have a quick look at the shifter? Yes, it's Absolutely a very beautiful. different it's shifter. It's a gated manual. How lovely. The whole interior of this car is really clean and tidy. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We've got some pretty good cars in the world, we haven't have. we? We are very lucky. But we have got some beautiful cars here. For those of you um, just joining us, the whole purpose for this live was just to let you know about the Mercedes. So it's, it's very, very close to a sellout. It wasn't due to be drawn until next Thursday, yeah. but the rate tickets are going. It's, it's likely to sell out by this Thursday. Yeah. And in which case it does, we'll run the draw. Uh, about 10, 15 minutes earlier, there was only 200 and I think exactly 33 tickets left. 233 tickets. So if this does sell out, it is very likely that we'll be drawing it on Thursday. Well, 600 went yesterday, so it's, it's, it's yeah. very, very likely that it's so going to sell out. So as I say, out. it's very much in your hands, you guys at home. But I love this car, and it is stunning. And I know pe people have mentioned that it might be a lot too kind of insure, but if you're winning it for nine pounds, it's a lot of car, isn't it? It's a lot of car. It definitely is. We've done a fair few Mercedes SLs now, all from different generations. We've had an SL55, another modern one, which is early 2000s. Um, we've had a 350 SL, which I believe is late 70s. Um, there's been a couple more in there yeah. as well. A few 280s um, of the generation, or a couple of generations before this one. But yeah. we do like our Mercedes SL here. Philip Creswell okay. saying, need, need to revisit my budget. Lots of, uh, lots of lovely toys coming out. Let us know which one you'd like the most, <laughs> Yes. Richard. There is a lot to choose from. And a really good um, range of different cars as well. Yeah, we've got a few modern ones coming up soon. But don't forget, we're all about the classics here. There's, there's some absolutely lovely classics coming up soon. But, you know, the likes of the Aston Martin DB9. You've got to have a daily car, haven't mm. you? Have your classic on the weekend. But then these modern cars you use Monday to Friday. It'd be an absolute dream. And as always, our, our cars here at um, Bridge Classic Cars, they're always looked over by our workshop to make sure they're in tip-top condition. Should you have a quick peek? Let's have a look. A sneak peek in the workshop. It's very chock-a-block today, so I don't want to disturb anyone, but I'll just quickly have a, have a little gander at what's going on in the workshop. 
So our Mark 1 Cortina that was won last week is having its final checks before it goes off uh, to the lucky winner. We've got a Spitfire undergoing works, a Range Rover CSK, Blaze Orange MGB, and an Aston Martin AMV8. So it's just as exciting next door, really, isn't it? <laughs> All go in there. And a few <clears throat> cars in the paint booth as well. Yes. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, so we wanted to just give you another little look at the Mercedes and to say it is very much in your hands if we draw this on Thursday. But thank you so, so much for joining us um, this morning and we will see you very soon, I hope. See you later.